in 1980, of course, the Janata Party lost power and uh, broke apart into several different factions. And then started the, the BJP, which was a successor to the Janasang. And the BJP in 1984, again, had the second largest vote share, which was 7 point something percent. Uh, then by 1989, they had gone to 11%. Uh, and the uh, Janata Party had a successor uh, in Janata Dal. Of course, the Janata Party itself also existed. Uh, and uh, the Janata Dal f- g- was led by V.P. Singh, a former Congress defector. He formed the government with the support of uh, both the BJP as well as the communists. And uh, he had about 17.7% of the national vote share. But uh, this government didn't last for very long, and within two years, there was another election where the BJP's vote share had gone from 11% to 20%. Now, why was why was there this massive growth at that point? Because no other party other than the Congress had hit 20% until then in the Indian uh, electoral system. The main reason for that was, um, uh, of course, I, I should make an exception. No other party except the Janata Party in 1977. That was, again, because of the emergency mobilization. Uh, but other than that, no other party had hit that level. So why was it possible? It was because of the Ram Janma movement. And this movement galvanized people from across the country and eventually propelled the BJP to above 20% in national vote share, which is what made them a real contender for power after that. And in every election since, the BJP and the Congress have been in the number one and number two spots and after 1998, we've not even had governments formed by third parties. They've all been Congress-led governments or uh, BJP-led governments. So this is broadly what has happened uh, in terms of the electoral history. And of course, finally, we've had uh, the Congress declining significantly in 2014 to uh, below 20%, in, uh, 19% to be precise and BJP growing above 30%. 30%. And that, again, was the second time in Indian history that the Congress has not had the largest vote share. Because until then, uh, 1977 was an aberration. But uh, with the rise of Narendra Modi and his popularity, uh, BJP has now displaced the Congress as the first poll, and the Congress is now the second poll of Indian politics, which means that the second poll being the weaker poll will tend to have more allies, because those allies are also threatened by the BJP's rise in their own states. So uh, that happened in 2019 and then uh, 2014 and 2019. And what happened in 2024 is that uh, the opposition coalesced more and there was a higher index of opposition unity. And therefore, the BJP, despite having 36% vote share in 2024, did not have a majority, whereas in 2014, they had 31%. And they did have a majority. So when we talk about uh, this is the mandate this election has thrown up, that's a bit of a misnomer because it's not as though any party is winning a, an absolute majority of, of votes. It's never happened in Indian history. Uh, even the Congress at its highest won 49% when Indira Gandhi was assassinated and there was a massive wave of uh, sympathy for her. Uh, and uh, what, we, what we've also seen is that the Congress... Until the until 1977, had over 40% uh, vote share in every election. It was only in that uh, election that uh, so yeah, uh, it was only in that election that they hit uh, 34.5%. And uh, after that, again they rebounded above 40 and did not come below that until 1989 when they hit 39. Then by 91 they had hit 36. And after that, 96, they hit 28, and they've never gone above 30 since.